Oh, hello. I really didn't expect to see anyone else here. What are you doing here so far from the Academy? I am Chief Vault Clerk Balia Windgazer. To be allowed access to the lower vault, you'll first need to fill out a series of forms. I have the paperwork right here. Oh, the Stonekeeper sent you. <laughs> My pardon. His recommendation is enough for me. You should have no trouble reaching the lower vault. Someone rebuilt the bridges damaged by the raid, if you can believe it. Oh, sadly, the vault is sealed tight. The vault master had the only key on him when he died during the Titan army's attack. I put in a requisition form for a new key, but no one has processed it. My hands are tied. Perhaps you should talk to Edric Scatterglow. He might know what to do. Hello. I can't talk right now. I've been trying to finish this for... Well, it's been quite a long time. Yes, I understand you're looking for something, but how important can it be? Compare it to my work, for example. I've discovered a crystal here that has stored different states of time. I don't mean to discourage you in your pursuit of, uh, well, whatever it is that brought you here. Fetch my research notes, and I'll see what I can do for you. They're in the nearby tower. I'd go myself, but I'm conducting some rather delicate experiments with this crystal. Mmm. New facets are forming as time passes. Fascinating. Those are the notes. Thank you for your assistance. Mm. I feel foolish. I've studied this thing before. I remember now. I had nearly finished examining it when some blasted fool summoned the Dragon Titan. I'm so close to discovering its secrets. But I'll need some help here, and then I'll offer you my undivided attention. This crystal needs an energy source. Another crystal? Not only that, but a battery made from a specific type of pristine crystal. You can get them from the crystal crawlers that infest this area. Would you get one for me? This one's not perfect, but it will certainly do. Now what good is a power source if it doesn't have any power? The pristine crystal will do as a battery, but now it needs a charge. I would do it myself if I could, believe me. I stored a charger in one of the vaults. Just tell Chief Vault Clerk Belia Windgazer that I said it was alright. I'm sure it won't take long. want admittance into Edric Scatterglow's vault. Normally that would require three signatures. Oh, but considering the circumstances. Mm. 
Here is the key to Edric Scatterglow's vault. No signature required. Get Edric Scatterglow's charger from Vault D on Floor 8. You'll have to pass a few security measures, so be careful. And please, return the key afterwards. I'm responsible for it. You are about to enter a... That didn't take long. I suppose our security isn't as foolproof as we once thought. Go tell Edric Scatterglow that you found the charger. That's it. That battery is ready for use. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this. Please, young wizard, put the charge crystal into the mechanism. Don't worry, this is science. What could possibly go wrong? You are about to enter...
The crystal shimmers and begins displaying images from past, present, and future, all colliding together. A portal seems to form in the center. It's... it's amazing! I can see fragments of the past and the future, all at once arrayed with crystal precision. What a sight! I never could have accomplished this without you. Speaking of time, it's certainly time for me to help you. So, what can I do for you? You need the Vault Keeper to give you a portal stone, is that it? Hmm, I'm afraid you're out of luck. The Vault Keeper is long dead. Perhaps if you'd come here much, much earlier... Wait a moment. I've got it! This mysterious time crystal might just be able to send you back in time, before the Vault Keeper died. You could ask him for the key yourself. Of course it sounds crazy, but do you have a better idea? Then think of the Vault Keeper and touch the crystal. The crystal should also bring you back. You are about to enter... You there! What are you doing? Why aren't you in hiding? Aren't you aware the Dragon Titan is attacking? His army is tearing Dragonspire apart! Don't just stand around here, get useful! Help me seal the vaults. If we don't, they'll loot our treasures and we'll have nothing left. Take these keys and lock the vaults. Wait, you'll need to repair the breaches in order to reach them. I'll try to find help. That's a start. We've got the chance now. It looks like the bridge will hold, but we're not out of the cauldron yet. Meet me down at the last vault. The Titan army is coming. You made it. Maybe we have a... Lords of Light. Hold back that creature while I lock the final vault.
thank you. There's something strange about you. You're not from here, are you? Please, take this vault key away from the city. I must stay to keep the army from the vaults. You're back. Have you found the key? Oh my goodness. You got the vault key. Please, I don't want to know how you came across it. Our rules may seem foolish and complex to you, but they've protected us for years. Head down to Vault 1933 for that portal stone. I'm certain that the stone will be safe in your hands. stone. If you need the stone now, then it must be for a good reason. Take the portal stone to the end of the street. You should be able to enter the next ring of dragon spire. Go with my blessings. You've got what you came for then. Thank you so much for your assistance. Your timing was perfect. Now that you've got a portal stone, you need to take it to the Stonekeeper in the Plaza of Conquests. Oh, I wish you the best in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Good work. You found yourself a portal stone. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Now that you have acquired a portal stone, it must be attuned to you. This is an easy enough process and takes little time. Go to the giant crystal in the center of this room and place your portal stone against it. This will attune you to the portal stone. You hold the portal stone against the giant crystal and feel it become attuned to you. It tickles a little bit. Congratulations! You now have a portal stone and can travel to the necropolis as you choose. With that portal stone, you can now go through the Grand Gate and into the Ring of Battle. Proceed up the road to the necropolis. Excellent work. You've gained access to the next ring. Events are proceeding as planned. I have interesting news. 
My brother cared deeply for his wife, Sylvia Drake, so much so that he brought her body with him to Dragonspire and entombed her within the necropolis. You must venture forth to the necropolis and find her remains. The path of the hero is not as glamorous as you thought, hmm? Take this knowledge crystal. Find her tomb and use the crystal there. It will store her spirit within. Then, you must return the crystal to me, and I will take the necessary next steps.
capture Sylvia's spirit within the Knowledge Crystal. As you trap her spirit, a strange badge falls to the ground. Her wraith-like form takes on solidity and color. Soon, Sylvia Drake appears as she did while alive. A wraith? I... I'm shocked! I could never imagine you would do that to her! Though Cyrus seems almost at a loss for words, he quickly takes the knowledge crystal from you. This was not my preferred choice, but it may yet prove useful. You've done well. You found a badge when you trapped her spirit? Ah, this explains a few things. Here, let me see that badge. Cyrus whispers a spell and passes his wand over the badge, then hands it back to you. Now the ring facility should function normally for you. I've discovered something more significant about Dragonspire. Within the innermost ring is an academy, and only students of the Dragonspire Academy may enter that ring. Go now to the Necropolis and see if you can discover a means of becoming a student of Dragonspire Academy. Think of it as a student exchange.